No. Last I heard, Dimitri there we go. Was it's updated. Look, it's Sly 2. Kind of a game I'm that sure I never remember know. how to play because I don't play it very often. Can you see? Can you see? You see my mouse? You can. Hello. It's my mouse. I don't remember what we were doing. Or how to do it, for that matter. We need Pink Boy. Oh, we did the laser, didn't we? I remember. I remember. Time for people to get mad because I'm calling him Pink Boy again. Fuck off. What is that face? Why is that face? I'm adjusting the volume slightly. Don't mind me. Alright. Don't right. I can't do the junk rat voice, I wish I could. Because I like junk rats alright. Hello, bear. Hello, not bear. Thankfully, you're fucking blind. Uh, rumor has it that several off duty guards meet in that cabin for an RC combat club. This is going to be great. I haven't been in any RC combat since that job we pulled in Istanbul. It was awesome. What is RC combat? Are we talking about remote controlled? Because he seems more like a fisticuffs than a remote controlled kind of guy. Sorry, I'm wiping my glasses off. I'm fucking blind. Streamer, hello, why are you standing here? Oh, this isn't gonna work, is it? Oh. Well, that's not gonna work either, jackass. He's too large. He is too large. Alright. Fine, we'll go across the stupid bridge. What's the run button? I forgot. There it is. Howdy. You heard nothing, thou creature of the night. I have places to be. Things to do. Those guards will never let you into the combat club without a disguise. That old moosehead should do the trick. Only there's no way for you to get up there. Hide out in this barrel while I send in Sly to steal the head. Why couldn't we steal it ahead of time? How do I fit in this barrel? Oh, there we go. Not a very good hiding place. And how, pray tell, do I go about this task? Good thing there's all these convenient, oddly shaped pipes around. Can I make that jump? Or do I go this way? Let's go this way. Okay. Nice jump, jackass. I, I'm gonna die. I can't jump any further than that. Is there another thing to land on? Or am I just bad? There's a distinct possibility of both. This is the part of the stream where chat calls me bad at video games. Like every part of every stream.
I don't think there's anywhere else to go. I think I have to make that. Well, that was just bad. This is a very specific jump that I seem to be incapable of making. I can glide right. I forgot about that part of this game. Maybe that'll give me enough motion? Movement? Distance? That's the word I want. Distance. Probably not, but... Hmm. That seemed to work either. That is the only way to go, right? Yeah. Hmm. Am I bad, Chet? What's happening? I mean, the answer is yes, but... How am I alive, actually? By what standard am I living? I don't know if that's even the way I go. I just believe it is. So I think I need to be up here to get on the things. Hmm. I wish they didn't sound like that in their idle animation. can't do it. It's not physically possible. Job failed. I'm away. Hmm. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm a confused fox. No, wait, we're not a fox. We're a raccoon. That's probably part of why I'm confused. I don't understand why this is here. I guess to force you to jump from that fence? Funny moose noises continue. Holy shit, I've made it. I don't know why, because I didn't do anything different, but I've made it. You just stand on the saw blade, that's fine. Pretty sure I've stood on these before without trouble, but let's not risk it. Don't want to have to do that fucking jump again. This seems fine. This meets like all Canadian safety regulations, I'm pretty sure. Do I need to wait for you to sleep? I don't think you even do. I have to wait for you to sleep, which is rude. Should have just gone then. I've done it, I think. Wait, wait, so. We have more. Oh, 
fuck it up now, please. Camera's not helping. It's me, the ultimate sneaker. Uh, here we go. I've done it. Murray, heads up. I told you I can play video games, so see you later, I guess. I like how he shouted Murray, heads up, in the middle of everyone. Any of you guys think you can beat the Murray? The, the moose? Maybe put a bet on it. Oh, I'm in, eh? I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I'd lose to a new guy like you, huh? I'm glad they have the perfect generic Canadian accent. Ah, good. Ah, these controls are fucking ass. What? Excuse me, you have a fucking flamethrower? These controls are camera based, but I have no control over the camera. And thus I want to die. Bitch. Don't have the faintest idea how to play this shit. I also don't know how to tell I have ammo. Bro, I need to I need you to stop chasing me. Get fucked, boy. Yeah, we're making a comeback. I don't know what you're doing over there. You're just waiting for your death. I missed. Alright, I'm sorry. I f I, forgive me. This camera is awful, and so are these controls, and the developers should be ashamed of themselves. He's gonna burn me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Bro, I need to shoot you. Can you not? You're a bitch. I hope you know that. There we go. You won, eh? But I ain't got no money. Why'd you place a bet? It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh well, I guess I owe ya. Okay, makes perfect sense. Nice security. Well, I owe ya a bet, I guess. After reading through the log shopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the Lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now, I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest, grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? Hmm. This makes perfect sense, I agree. I see nothing wrong with this plan. Oh, everyone. Old grizzle face. That's me. Old and grizzly. I have the worst looking face you'll ever see, by the way. Get on the fucking thing! Thank you. Here 
I really should get rid of this bear in the middle of your camp, but y'all do you. Hey, what's up? If we're gonna I just punch that dude in the ass for no reason. To destroy all the local oil mains. It looks pretty sturdy. The Murray is strong, but his fists can't punch through metal. No problem. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. Use Grizzleface to take out the oil mains. But I don't smell like fish. Do I? How can I lure him around? Bentley's taken up a post along the river. Yeah, a bunch of uh, bear can punch through metal. They should get blown sky high. Plenty should land near your position. So you want me to throw a fish at the oil main so that old grizzle face will knock him apart? That's the idea. You might even try throwing fish at the guards. Might improve their odor. Hey, ow, you bitch. Oh, that's the fish. I was like, what in the fuck? Why did it explode green? Fish are stinky confirmed. Nice work. Trot old grizzle That's face over the next oil main by luring him with fish. No, not the fucking log. Like how? Oh, he follows me. I was gonna say, how far away do I have to move to throw these? He's awfully calm about this particular fish scenario. I don't know why he doesn't maul me to death. Cares not for this particular allotment of fish. And because he can't drop down here, he has to. Mm. Bro, I need a fish. Thanks. Nice delivery service. They don't think anything of the fucking blind and deaf bear walking through the fucking place like it's nothing. Hey, you know, sometimes he just does that. It's fine. Oh, he actually, he's gonna step on that bear trap. Oh, he dodged it. The guards actually run away from him, though, so... Pardon me, coming through. Got places to be, boys. I don't know why shit just exploded, because I didn't do anything. This is not a scenario that should be, like, normalized by the guards in this place, but here we are. Bears can punch through metal, you can confirm. Wait, that's that one. Go on this one? Which one was I? Help, chat. I'm an idiot. How do I get over there? This is a good question. I don't know how to get places without jumping, actually. Bear noises intensify. Is it across the river? Can I cross the river over here? No. Help! I don't know how to get places without jumping. I'm lost. 
Probably maybe just have to wrap around this side over that way. We'll figure it out. Come along, dude. I don't have all day. Look at this delicious fish. this way? Looks like I can. Not the most optimized path, but hey, if we get there, we get there. This doesn't look like a way down either. What the fuck? We go all the way around? How the hell do I get down? I guess we go all the way around. This is a hell of a path. I just want to throw this over there and murder this dude. Or maybe not. These dudes, however, are definitely being murdered. Fuck it, just throw it over there, have some fun. I like how they left. They're like, fuck it, we're out. I mean, I can't blame him. All right, how do we get to this one? You follow him? You are. I don't understand why he's so friendly when I'm holding it. Wait, it says two out of four. Did you not break that one? You hit it? Hmm. Weird. I think I hit the bear with the fish. Hmm. Oh, he had to hit it again. Okay. I saw him hit it and, like, break it, and I ah, thought it just counted without looking at it. That's alright. You following, lad? We should really name this bear. I mean, I know it has a name, but, like, it's not the name I gave it, so it doesn't count. Boy, howdy, I hope that's not up. Because that's going to be real awkward. You know what? Fuck it. Kill that man. Real violent, this bear. game of my life, to be honest. Alright, that's all the Murray's stuff, right? Yep. We got Turtle Lad, two Slies. We may as well do Turtle Lad. That way we just do all of Slies in one go, because he'll probably get another one. Hello, it's me, Turtle Lad. I have a name, but the streamer's a jackass and never remembers. Well, I can't jump up that way anywhere. Oh, there's a bouncy thing around here somewhere, isn't there? No? Just... nothing? Right. Well, gosh, I guess we'll go around this way. Why, why were you in the outhouse, and why did you fucking explode? Fuck it, we're going. You'll never catch me alive, coppers. Possibly because I killed myself before I get there. No, we're good. If we can trust Murray's informant, that's the silo with the battery hidden inside. 
To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. Oh, yes, attaching of course. The boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay, I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. I was gonna say hooray, easy shit, but no, I'm I'm part of the boat crew. Feels a boat lad. Alright, Murray, yeet me. You to that boat. These days my aim is impeccable. Is it? How do I how do you throw me? Yeet me, my pink friend. How do I get him to eat? drop that on you lad. I'm hitting the interact button. Hey. Can't you see I'm occupied, you jackass? He was just trying to investigate. Ow, fuck. The fucking explosion noises. I'm getting outplayed by a goose, duck, whatever that is. I don't know how to make him throw me. But yeah, I'm here. I can see inside of your mouth, which has a tongue. Surprisingly. Hmm. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Nor did I mean to do that. I don't know. Did I break him? What happened? What if, I'm, what if we just reset it? Hold on. Right. I'm invulnerable for a second. There we go. And I also want to know why the turtle drowns. And we're just going to casually walk down. I'm all set to throw you to that boat. These days my aim is impeccable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't understand. Why he no throw? How do I get him to throw? Hold on. What is this fuck? What is this fuck? What is this objective called? Boat hack, apparently. Well, this doesn't help me at all. There's a video, which might be loud, as you do. No, it's a YouTube video. Yeah, you run over to him. You jump a lot in front of him. And attack. And you're also confused about how to do this. This isn't really helping, but... Okay. I've learned. Jump and press circle. Ah, right as I saw it in the video. I did everything but jump and press circle, as it turns out. Uh... Camera. There we go. Now to hack that was a good throw, though. Controls. Oh, right, the hacking minigame. I forgot. 
Wait, these dudes are green. Ow, ow. I forgot how fucking distorted the base gets. I hope you like your ears being decimated by base. Unsure why these dudes are green, but here we are, I guess. Oh my god, the noise. That's like 99% of slide jumping and hitting circle, it's true. Quickly! There we go. You free me from this prison. Nice Ow, my hand. shoot it to you. Oh, that was fucking Go perfect. You guys should head out for another boat before anyone picks up on what we're doing. First try? Fuck. Accidentally walked off it. There we go. Where do we get another boat? All the way over there. Nah. Uh, I mean, that works, I guess. Why don't we just have him with us all the time? Just fucking murder people. Don't throw me here. Where do you throw me from? The other side? Up here, mayhaps? Yeah. Time to hack again, featuring noise that shouldn't be as loud as it is. Or as distorted as it is, but you know. Oh my god. I wonder if it's just some weird problem with the emulation. It probably is. I'm sure it doesn't sound like this on an actual console. But still. It's it's pretty great. And by great, I mean bad. Shit. Shit. Don't fail me now, quickly. I'm a master hacker. You can't best me. I like that the boat's movement doesn't move the character too. Got the first one, but not the second one. There we go. The oh, I was gonna say. Place. One more grapple line to go, and this thing will be on it. Now we're over there. What do I mind if I do? We could use these boats for other things, but you know. Like the frozen mammoth over there. Oh, he's fucking ready. This lad is ready for the toss. Does that reach? I don't know where that is. Am I just... Tossing it on this thing? Is that why that's there? I was wondering what happened to that guy. Oh. Huh. Guess he just prefers to be frozen. As you do. I too like the cold. I don't actually, because I don't know how to handle cold. But the music's just fucked up now. <laughs> the music's too fast for itself. I like how my strat for these is almost always just ignore everything that I can. To try and just shoot the block.
because there's too much shit in these hacking games to actually fight. It just spawns forever. There we go. Lovely noise when you finish, too. Like, see, look at him slide, because the boat doesn't actually move the character any. My immersion. I feel like security probably. Yeah, true, at least it doesn't slide off. I feel like security should have been called on these boats by now. Too short. Yeah. That seems safe. With the battery chamber empty, we'll be all set to move in. That seems safe. Alright. Everything left should be sly. How I get up there, I'm not quite sure, but. You put me all the way back here, you bitch. Why is this ice so easily sinkable? Expl explain, what do you mean? Wait, what's the shoot? That's the shoot. There's really no reason to do that, it's quite rude, but... Sometimes that's how it works, you know. Goodbye. Don't run me over. I'm surprised there's not like a quick return to the I fucking hate those birds, the safe house option. So you don't have to run back to switch characters, or maybe there is, and I'm just blind. It's a distinct possibility. It's less of a thing playing Sly, considering he can actually maneuver around the level, but you know. Ow. Ow. Oh, that didn't work as planned. Shit. Help! Perfect. I am the master stealthologist. Stealthologist? The lighthouse is the conduit for collecting the northern lights. We need to shut it down, or the silo battery will continue to fill with energy, making it impossible for us to stow away inside. So, you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. All right, see you on the ground floor. I was going to say, I imagine that probably has the potential to feel good, and then his legs did the twitchy thing. Bop. Is this how I get over here? Yeah, it is. Okay. I too like randomly mounting things. What is this? Oh no. How does one scale? Oh, well, here we go. I feel like we could have given everyone this technology, but that's fine. This is what's known as a speed run via perfectly optimal positioning. I've managed to do this without stopping. Anyway, let me go this way. 
perfectly optimal. Never stopped once. Why are you up here? I don't... I guess I have to kill you. Apologies, sir. See ya. I was just trying to interact with the thing. No! That doesn't seem correct. Five plus one equals star at pound sun. <laughs> Where's my hat? That's a reasonable question. Sometimes I too misplace my hat. That seems bad. Is this bad? Yes. <laughs> Turns out that's bad. Have to fight people all the way down? Um, mm -hmm. I'll just throw him down into the pit as you do. What kind of fucking security system even is this? I should be pickpocketing these people. Keep your axes short. Oh, excuse me. Well, I mean, that still counts as killing him, but that's not quite what I wanted to do with that. I'll do it. Do it. Why am I moving by myself? Because I'm not hitting anything to do that. Burp, 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 burp. Nice security camera. 10 out of 10. I love that one. Do I just jump down? To the PSO? I agree. Flip the switch at the top of the lighthouse. Yeah? Yeah, me too. I like the spinny go round part of this little design. Where did you even come from? I've been through here. Shit. This is no longer a stealth mission. We're in combat, lads. Do you people ever die? Holy shit. That chunking noise is so loud. Alright. Back to stealth. We've done it. Wait. Oh, I have to jump up this, though. I see. Get climbing. How? Like this, apparently. Shit. I've discovered the secret to success. Oh, shit. Well, 
that's not really quite what I meant to do, but it works. Uh... I need you to not pulse that one, I think. Please, if you could be so kind as to do so. Hey. I did it, I broke it. Why there's a switch capable of doing that, I'm not quite sure. I think our other mission for Sly is actually up here, so this is convenient. Is it just on top of this, or...? It is. Hey, convenient. In order to overcome Jean Bisson in the Lumberjack games, we'll need to enlist the help of the giant Canadian eagles. Their nest is out on that iceberg. Steal one of the eggs. And then bring it safely back to the safe house. We'll use it to direct the eagles. This sounds easy enough. Against Bissan. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. I like how that the boat just drifted into the void. Give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close, and old Grizzleface will be eating barbecued raccoon for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. Delicious. Alright, here we go. I guess we have to go, like, all the way around the map to get over there? Seems a horribly inconvenient path. But a path is a path, so... I feel like they should also really probably, like, solve this problem so there's not such an oil pressure problem that they're venting gas into the atmosphere at this rate, but what do I know? I'm not an engineer. Whee! Also, I feel like this would probably just kill me to be inside of, but, yeah, you know, it's probably pretty hot. Now where do I go? What is this fucking path I have to take? Do I go to the island now? Seems like it. If I don't, I'm going to be sad. Yeah, why couldn't we just take one of the boats? I thought I had to dodge it, not the paraglider itself. Turns out it was the paraglider. Well, time for this little fun adventure around the entire map again. We even saw one of the boats drift into the void in the direction of the island. We could have just taken a fucking boat. Turtle Boy, your plan's got some flaws, and I need to have a talk with you about it. Not sure I like your plan very much. Island time again. The eagle's looking awfully unfriendly, as you do, being an eagle. Watch out for those eagles, they don't look friendly. Are you kidding me? 
What fucking hitbox do these things have? Why is their hitbox so large? Well, here we are, I suppose, again. Third time's the charm. Really wish we'd decided to take one of the boats we'd already commandeered at this point. Wouldn't be so bad if we didn't have this long wind up to get over there for some reason. The devs really do get the most out of their levels. They're not super large levels, you just end up circling them a lot of times. Which is fair enough. Can I just wait here for the eagles since they spawn when I'm here? Camera's gonna freak the fuck out. Oh shit, I can't. Turns out I can't because the air vent disappears. Don't hit me, please. Thanks. I've done it. A master. I told you third time's the charm. Now I just have to get it back safely, which hopefully I don't have to do. Oh, fuck. How, though? I'll just glide from here, I guess. Why are these even out here? For what purpose do you serve? Shit, 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 shit. Panic jumps. I want to know how he stands on this, by the way. Impressive. Why couldn't he do that going the other way? That's a good point. We could have literally jumped from there to here. I'm offended by the turtle's plan, actually. Well, the job's done either way. <laughs> we need a new strategist. Work, Sly. Well, you've done it. We should be, like, the final part of this chapter now. I don't know how long the last chapter is. <laughs> the Lumberjack games are upon us. Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat John Bassad at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, We'll have to cheat. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Basad up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Hassan from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. This seems perfectly and fine finally, and not suspicious. I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Hassan's logs so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. Because of my knowledge of rotational forces. Lamau nerd. We're all ready for the lumberjack games, though you should probably buy an alarm clock gadget first. You never know when you'll need one. Fine, I'll buy an alarm clock gadget. Can't sell anything. How much is an alarm clock gadget? I'm missing so much shit. 
Confuse your enemies with this distracting alarm clock. Silent obliteration. That's actually really good. The uh, insta-kill move doesn't make sound is really nice. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Uh... Wait. I don't know. I have to start as the turtle. Okay. Turtle it is. Toytle. Small, small okay, toytle. Guys, let's head down there and win those talons from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. But he can't recognize anyone else? What? Hello, it's me, the small turtle. Me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate nice voice. in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play, so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let them try. Uh. Oh shit. Just as I thought. Nothing but an amateur axe man. Only nines. Job failed. <laughs> Didn't realize I needed a perfect score. Good lord. A little picky there, aren't you? Tens, let's go. Well, you're using the thingy with the, the cheating tool that does the cutting. Oh, he's using a regular hack. Never mind. Mirror. Okay, Billy, you're on. First try. Plant the eagle egg on the sun, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. <laughs> Um... I can't jump, so... Ow. Fucking birds. Duck and weave, duck and weave! I really hate these enemies because I don't know the consistent way to dodge them. That was close. Why you need to jump? I don't know, I feel like it'd be easier to get here if I could jump. I like this music though. Zeros. What? I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? That's cheating. This man's cheating. So Intimidating judges. Poorly, probably. If I could hook on the thing at the start, that'd be fantastic. This is not a good angle to be going. Oh, 
shit. That sad cane of yours isn't helping you any. Like that guy gave me a two. I was at the bottom. I'm so fast. Could be better. Beat that, Pretty you bitch. Scrawny raccoon. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Power climbing. Yeah, this seems fun. That's some that's some power climbing. He's a large dude. I missed. Shit. It's also really fast. God damn. Come on. What? What? Well, this is a fail. But also, what? What do you mean? He skips like half the thing and this shit's angled for some reason. That one worked. He skips so much of it. And I don't understand how to hook him with this one. There we go. How do I do this one now? Not like that. There we go. Took you forever when you were younger? I can see why. That that second hook in particular makes no sense. This competition has no integrity. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best of it for the last. The spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Easy. This isn't quite how spinning log competitions typically work, but... It's fine, I guess. Oh shit. No. It's his lumber game's not sure what you expect. Okay, listen. Where's your integrity yet, Bison? Oh, that was a bad start. Uh, what in the fuck happened there? <laughs> I think I grabbed the edge of the barrel? Also, you can't skip barrel, or you can't skip logs when you jump. I call it a barrel. Anyway. Yeah, that was fun. Perfectly flawless execution of the technique. Wrong game. Honor Among Thieves is next game. I don't know about that one. Easy competition. Got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Marie. those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? 
Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judge's table. Now he surely won't You'll notice that. Use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly. But you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. True. Look at him go, this prowess. Like, what, what do I do? We just throw it over here? You seem to not care. Oh shit, he's moving. That's a very annoying alarm. You live in the tank, it's a massive buster. Uh, yes. I do. What about it? Are you doing normal modes? They'll get off the ball slightly. Yeah. You can still hit it, but yeah. What do you mean? Well, he stood like under the boss and killed everyone? That's pretty great. <laughs> so that's not at all how you do that. What? I guess that still counted, but... You, ha you hate legend? It was a legend that did that? You don't... That's not even greed, that's just him being an idiot. Because you can hit the boss and not murder people with the AoE. She does get really good tanks pretty consistently. That's not even... Like, really, that's that's not greed. That's, that's just a bad dude. I'm telling you, pretty much everyone in the game could theoretically get Legend. Shit. That's too far away. Now he's facing this one. There we go. No, come back. Shit. Plan didn't work very well. Thanks, but also, ow, my head. Oh, my aching head. We didn't plan that very well. Really pack a punch. Sly, Murray, wake up. Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Oh. Where are we? What's going what? on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bison must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless... Unless you smile. Can through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I feel like I'll Sly would fit in there better than the turtle. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Give it enough time. Turtles not typically known for their ability to squeeze into places. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley, and remember to shout if I can help you from up here. 
But there he goes. Flawless execution. Plop. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my Hello. Well now, kid. Then you can't shit talk him during the boss fight. Oh, yeah. Puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick him up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. Stupid. Conscious me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing. Well, that's bad. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talents. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's, That's a fair point. I don't know the difference. I've shown you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Missan. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get Walnut. ready for a smushing. Call out which lever I should pull. Uh... Triangle for souls, zero for logs. Those are souls. Okay, okay. He's got a lot of health. He's also kind of getting outplayed. It's like losing the Keyblade all over again. Oh, he's got friends. Thankfully, he's still not very smart, but he does have friends. Can't I just do this repeatedly? Is there, is there a downside to this? <laughs> Eat dynamite? That seems dangerous. Oh shit. Ah, I crushed myself. I suppose it's a little harder to hit the logs. Come out, boys. Let's get to killing. Let's get to killing. You still got dynamite? Yeah. Shit. That was the wrong button. Easiest boss fight of my life. Literally just walk around the center of the arena and mash the circle button. It works pretty well. Tarnation. I've been done nice face. Right, turtle. Times have changed. Once again, braids <laughs> nice face. Over broad. Good job, little buddy. Thanks. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, John Bisson. Arpeggio's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move. He says while talking. What is this? Shake a leg. That blimp's on its way. Ah. <laughs> Very good search info. Wait, where am I going? We're going over here. I already wasted a little bit of time, but we should have some leeway. And I'm also just sprinting, so, you know. Do I need to be on top of it? No. Why are you going to throw him? There's a bouncy thing right there. What?
We did it. Job complete. Oop. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. Not the van. was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. Buy him a new van, a cooler van. As we jump in the van for the cutscene. May as well get the intro for episode 8. Actually, do we get the intro for episode 8? How long is episode 8? Because preferably I'd like to not start a stream for like 30 minutes of slot. Windows noises say hello. How long does this look in the guide? Crazy long, but enough for itself, I think. An hour or so. Hmm. We'll do this next time I stream, then. We'll finish up Sly next time. Which theoretically, the next time I stream should be tomorrow. If nothing's happening. So I'll do Sly then. And we'll finish the game that I've been playing for like four months. That's only like eight hours long. But you know, sometimes it'd be like that. And probably more Yakuza. Yakuza. Anyway, that'll be it for me. It is nearly 2 a.m. Tis time to carry on. So thanks for hanging out. Rip Pikmin. Oh, I'll finish Pikmin. <laughs> I'll get back to it, don't worry. I haven't been playing it on my own time, so it's not like you've missed anything. It's still installed. I'll get back to it before I do Rise, probably. Alright, thanks for watching and chatting and hanging out and all that jazz. Uh, I'll see you theoretically tomorrow.